In this video, I'm going to show you how to find specific image versions in Azure Resource Manager. This information can be used when deploying Azure Resource Manager templates or just looking up available image versions. When deploying servers or appliances with Azure Resource Manager templates, the image is defined in code similar to what's shown here under Storage Profile. But how do you find the correct information? Or what if you want to use a version other than latest? I'll show you by starting with the deployment location and drilling down to find the correct image and version. Here I have a series of commands that will get the correct image and version for me. The first is the get location command. That is going to retrieve a list of the locations available on my subscription. Once I have that information, I can set my location in a variable. Next, I'm going to get the publisher with the get VM image publisher command. You can see I put a filter on this so it only returns publishers with names like Windows. Without that, there would be a long list of publishers returned. Here's a list of publishers with names like Windows. I'm going to set the variable to Microsoft Windows Server. Next, I need to get the image offer with the get az vm image offer command. Here I'm building on the information I've already collected in variables. We'll run that command. As you can see, a list of offers return. I'm going to set offer name to Windows Server. Next, I'm going to get the image SKU with the get az vm image SKU command. Here again, building on the variables that I already have defined. And out of the list of image SKUs available, I'm going to select 2016 Data Center. Next, I'm going to get the versions of that image SKU with the get vm image command. And lastly, I'll select the version I want for this deployment. I have another example that may be more practical and one that I ran into recently. Let's say you need to deploy a specific version of an appliance. I'll use Fortinet in this example. I want to deploy Fortigate 5.6.4 and I have my own license key. We'll stay in the same location so that will be left unchanged. Next I'm going to get a list of publisher names. In this case, I put a filter to return anything that matches 40. So this should just return the Fortinet publisher. I'll run this command. And there it is, Fortinet is the publisher name. So I'll set that as in my variable. Next with the image offer, again, building on the variables that I already have in place. Here you can see the different offers that Fortinet has available in Azure. I'm gonna set my offer name to Fortinet Fortigate VM V5. Once that's done, I can get the SKU. There's two SKUs here, one is a pay as you go. I'm gonna select the other one. And next I'm gonna get the versions of the image. Here you can see the list of versions available for the SKU, and I'm gonna set it to 564. Now that I have all the details of the appliance image, I can enter that information into the JSON template. But I'm lazy, so I'll use this command that outputs all needed information formatted as JSON. This snippet of code starting with image reference can easily be copied and pasted into a template. I hope this video helps you find the right SKU and version number for your Azure deployment. Thanks for watching.